have a break in the storm this evening, but our stretch of badly timed snow will continue. They have been badly timed. More than 40 school districts and universities across Minnesota and western Wisconsin are closing early this afternoon because of the weather. Others have already completely canceled their evening activities. Minnesota State Patrol says that troopers have responded to more than 300 crashes since this morning. A couple were fatalities as well. Two people have died. More than 350 other vehicles have spun out on snow-packed roads. That freezing rain this morning that turned into snow just crippled the morning commute. The good news is MnDOT trucks have been out helping clear the roads. And tonight, as you take a little tour with our highway camps here, you can see that while things are moving slowly, they are much better than they were this morning. Yes, and we have team coverage of today's snowfall. Nina Morney is monitoring road conditions, but we're going to begin this evening with meteorologist Molly Rosenblatt in the WCCO Weather Center. Molly. Hi, Amelia. Yes, that snow has pulled off to the east, but the biggest issue now is blowing and drifting snow because we still have some areas that are dealing with gusty conditions. So still under that winter weather advisory until about 6 o'clock, so just for another hour or so. Some areas are seeing visibility is down to a quarter mile or less in south central, southeastern Minnesota, where we are seeing gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. These winds will ease over the next couple of hours, but if you're heading out, do be careful. And the state patrol is also saying it's very windy in southeastern Minnesota. The blowing snow is causing dangerous driving conditions there. Nina Moyni is keeping an eye on the roads in the metro. She's live out in the mobile weather watcher. Nina, how's it going out there? Hi, Molly. Well, we just as you were tossing to me, we ran into the traffic. Here we are heading west on 36 in Roseville. But the good news is you can see we still have a little bit of daylight, even a nice sign that the days are getting a little bit longer. But the problem with these weather events is when they do hit right in the middle of the morning or the evening commute, uh, like we saw happen this morning, and we're expecting more of it, like you mentioned. Uh, tomorrow. So that's why law enforcement is really suggesting people stay home tomorrow morning if they can. Every time it snows. For those who couldn't work from home, the day dragged on in anticipation of another long commute home this evening. It was like an extra 40 minutes or so. It took me, I'm actually from Lakeville, and it took me over an hour. So it usually takes me 20, 25 minutes to get here. The storm system is literally affecting the entire state. State Patrol Captain Mike Hansen says those who can't miss work should consider canceling any other plans tonight and tomorrow. Driving conditions are difficult at best. Roads are slippery. They're snow covered. There were two fatalities yesterday where snow or ice could be a factor. With wind speeds picking up, visibility will also be a problem. Especially the ramps and the bridge decks that are going to get really slippery and you're not going to know it until it's too late. And nothing you can really do about it but just try to plan to leave early. Back out here live, uh, sitting in rush hour in Roseville. And one thing the State Patrol wants to remind everybody is even when you look out like this and it doesn't look that bad or it's not super windy here in the metro, it still is slippery and, and you don't know on those ramps and you really still have to go ahead and slow down and plan ahead. And plan ahead is something that we say a lot when we're giving people advice from State Patrol. So coming up at 6, we're going to talk about how exactly you can plan ahead. There's a cool tool we'll show you that helps you take a look at the route that you're going to be driving from the comfort of your home. Oh, good. Nice. We'll look forward to seeing that. All right. Thanks, Nina. With this morning snowfall, you'll want to check the parking rules in your city. So far, the cities of Plymouth and Crystal have announced no emergencies. Remember, you can take WCCO with you on the go. The WCCO weather app has live radar, storm warnings, and our latest forecast. Just search WCCO in the App Store or the Google Play Store.